and a good afternoon here from Columbus, Ohio to anybody who's going to watch this video. Can you put holes in the diesel per, uh, particulate filter? Well, I did. Did it for two weeks. It ran uh, a little better, not too much. Uh, I was getting about four miles at a gallon, four and a half, pulling 20,000 pounds, and it was in constant regen going down the road. White smoke everywhere. And uh, yeah, I couldn't have that. Couldn't afford the brand new one at $3,600. So here in Columbus, there's a place called Principal Truck Parts. And um, they're over on the west side, close to 270. They had one for $1,700. Now it was remanufactured, but you know, that's just as good as the original anyway. So I went ahead and bought new sensors because half of them were stuck in there and wouldn't come out. And, and uh, actually, the one was bad, couldn't repair it. So uh, yeah, I just put all new lines on it and all that. Cost me about, uh, I think, it all ended up about $2,200. So this is what I did. I put eight holes in it. You can see that now look at the back part here. If you can, kind of dark, but yeah. And there's the new one. Can't really see the hardware, I guess. So, but anyway, yeah, it's against the law to do that. But, you know, when you're out in the middle of nowhere, what are you going to do? Well, I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't keep going at four, four miles at a gallon, you know. Uh, but even with the fuel coming down, so it worked for me. I went and bought a 14-inch drill bit with a hand crank drill. Did that in about 15, 20 minutes. Fired it back up, went down the road. No more smoking. DPF light would come on every once in a while and then would go off. Could be just because of those sensors. That one sensor especially had a bad wire on it. So, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't, but it was just something I had to try and it worked for me. So, good luck, stay safe, and uh, enjoy this lame, lame apocalypse. <laughs> I know it's not really an apocalypse, but anyway, take care, be safe.